From beginning this time, I thou and I have ever throughout a cyclic existence, led astray by the momentum of my mistaken past actions and improper past behavior. I have mistaken the path and become lost. I regret with powerful remorse the negative past actions I have committed of any kind. Drawn by the momentum of momentary yet violently resonant past actions, I have sunk into this ocean of suffering. I have sunk into this ocean of suffering, the sea of cyclic existence. The fires of blazing hatred have unbeatingly seared my mind. The dense darkness of delusion has blinded my discriminative awareness. The ocean coasts of desire have drowned my conscience and attuned me. The mountain of fierce pride. The cruel whirlwind of envy has sucked me into these turning worlds, where, entwined by the tight knot of egocentricity, I have fallen into the pit of desire. This chasm of blazing fires, unbearably brutal misery, has poured down on me like heavy rain. Damaged by such extreme and unbearable suffering, seared by the blazing, ferocious fires of my negative past actions, the shoots of my consciousness and sense back of my body, this illusory aggregate can no longer withstand all this pain. How can you bear to witness this, O compassionate Lord of loving kindness? Obscured fool that I am, burdened by the most negative evil, propelled by the momentum of these past actions. I have taken birth as a personification of rampant egohood within this world system of desire. I regret having taken such birth and am dismayed by my past acts. Yet regardless of my regret and my dismay, past actions cannot be remade. The momentum of past actions is as strong as a river's inexorable flow. So how can the mighty river of past actions be reversed in a mere moment? All that ripens is born from one's own past actions. And I am one who has been swept along by the violent whirlwind of my past actions, and accordingly have roamed over countless past eons, lost within the dark prisons of cyclic existence. O Lord of loving kindness, through your blessing of your compassion, purify the obscurations generated by my past actions and dissonant mental states, and secure me in the presence of your mother like loving kindness. Purify the obscurations generated by my past actions and dissonant mental states, and secure me in the presence of your mother-like loving kindness. Here am I, continuously learning the sight of your compassionate face, which shines with a luminosity like that of the sun, and radiates with a clarity like that of the moon. Yet my darkened eyes, blinded by the cataracts of beginningless ignorance, are unable to see you. O oh Lord of living beings, where are you now? I am terrified by the utterly unbearable and virulent power of past actions, and my hair stands on end out of fear. I call out this lament in heartfelt passion and cry out to you in a voice of utter despair. But I cut if you do not attend to me with your compassion now and drag it away my death, at that time when my relatives stay behind in the world, yet I alone am led away by the power of past actions. At that time, I will be unprotected and without a refuge. So, do not on any account hesitate or delay now, but draw near to me at this very moment and enact the wrathful rites of liberation. Beings such as I, who are afflicted by past actions, have been subject to misconceptions since beginning this time. As a result, we have not achieved release from the turning states of cyclic existence. Indeed, being such as I have assumed such a countless number of corporeal forms during countless births and countless eons that if our flesh and bones were to be collected together, their accumulated mass would fill this world, and if our pus and blood were to be collected together, their accumulated mass would fill a vast ocean, and if the residue of our past actions were to be collected together, their extent would be beyond conception and inexpressible. Though I have continued endlessly in a cycle of births and deaths throughout the three world systems, the actions that I have committed have been pointless and unproductive. Yet from amongst all these many countless births, the actions committed in the course of just a single lifetime could have been worthwhile if only I had trained well, pursued the path of unsurpassed enlightenment, and thus attained the genuine final nirvana. But swayed by the virulence of past actions and the great potency of dissonant mental states, 
I have assumed bodies. These networks of blood action are all corrupted and corrupted. Thrust into a succession of succession like existence, like existence, where the suffering is hard to bear. All my transgressions, transgressions such as bearably intense suffering, have been born out of my own past action. Please, through your great compassion, shatter the momentum of these past actions and reverse the vital energy of past actions generated by dissonant mental states. When overpowered by the influence of perverse past actions rooted in fundamental ignorance, I wander perpetually within the darkness of unknown. Why do you not release me, suffusing me with the lamplight of your pristine cognition? When I can no longer bear the continuing fruition of my transgressions and past actions, why do you not embrace me with the enlightened activity of your great compassion? When I fall into the abyss of error, why do you not catch me in the palm of your swift compassion? When I am afflicted by irresistible diseases of the three poisons, why do you not cure me with the medicine of your compassionate, skillful wounds? When the fires of my suffering, the continuing maturation of my own past actions blaze, why do you not release a compassionate shower of cool fires in my suffering? When I sink into the swamp of suffering and sickly actions blaze, why do, why do you not release a compassionate shower of cool and cool rain? When I say to the swamp of suffering and sickly existence, why do you not draw me out of the sickly compassion by training again and again in the three world systems of sickly existence? What need would there be for your sublime compassion then? Given that this release would be the potent inheritance of my positive past action, would there be anyone to whom I would to express my gratitude? But, O oh, spiritual warrior, you who are endowed with the power of compassion, since the momentum of my negative past actions is so potent, don't, do not be ineffective, do not be indifferent, do not be inactive. From your heart, from your heart, from your passionate conquering day, gaze upon me now. Draw me up from the small, small six cyclic existence. Lead me swiftly to the supreme level of the three Buddha bodies.